Hi, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to safely take out matted braids. I don't know if it was just me, but growing up, I feel like when somebody told you to take out your box braids, and it's not even somebody, but your mom or whoever was gonna be doing your hair, they never really told you exactly how to take out your braids. So I'm gonna teach you the best way with the hardest type of hair. So to start this process off, I used my natural hair growth oil. And if you wanna learn how to make it, check out my last video. But anyways, I started by applying the oil to the root, just so it can loosen up the dirt that's sitting there. And as I work my way up, it should be a little easier to tackle. When you're doing something like this, or even just regular hair that is maintenance, more often than I did Story's hair, my best suggestion would be to make sure that you have different types of combs on hand, just because you don't wanna damage the hair by taking out too thick of a braid with a thin comb. Doing that puts friction on the hair, which makes it easier to rip out. So obviously now you start at the bottom of the braid and just work your way up, making sure that every time you're going up, each piece of the hair that you're taking care of is moisturized. The main thing you have to remember is to always be gentle with your hair. It's gonna take some time to work out, but as long as you do the necessary precaution steps, like do the oil or whatever um, detangler you choose to use at the time, it's always gonna make it much, much easier to handle. My main goal for this is to see how much hair I can take care of before a story wakes up. Don't be afraid to add more oil if it's necessary. Now I'm gonna be using the small teeth comb just to make sure that I loosen up the rest of the dirt and it's a little easier so that I don't wake her up. Now I'm just using my fingers to separate the hair even more before I really try to get the dirt out. You'll know you're doing this step right just because the dirt should be just sliding off your fingers with the hair as you're coming from root to tip. I really learned this process from doing my own hair. I have really super thick hair so even if I do it on a two week basis, just me being natural, it takes a long time for me to get stuff out of my hair if I don't use the products I use and the techniques I use. And now having daughters, they have the same problem. So I just use the same mechanisms I use for my hair for theirs. Your finished product should look something like this. It shouldn't have any resistance. You should be able to separate it and part it with no issue. So now what I'm gonna just do is brush the hair and get it prepped to be put into temporary um, twists. When I applied this method with my daughters, I immediately realized this was the best way to take out thick hair, dirty hair, matted hair, any type of hair. You really, the key to it is just being patient. So me, I'm gonna just leave it here just because I'm gonna end up taking all these out anyways and rebrushing all the hair all together. But now I'm gonna just show you in kind of slow motion how you should be taking the braid out specifically. When you're taking the braid out, you need to look for the seams. And what I mean by that is exactly where the X, where it kind of makes an X, you should be putting the teeth of the comb through that part of the braid. I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, just remember, follow the path of least resistance. So at this time, I chose to kind of switch the combs I was using just because her hair is getting thicker at this point in her head. So I didn't want to, like I said, break off her hair by using too small of a comb. And as you can see, it's kind of easier to get through it when you do it that way. If I was to use the small teeth comb, I kind of would be fighting with the hair still, and it shouldn't be like that. My daughter's only three, so I try to find the best times to do her hair because I know she's not gonna sit there for hours and hours for me to try to learn and figure out how to do her hair. And if you have more than one kid, you kind of have to find the best time to do everybody's hair that works for them. For example, my other daughter, Shy, she likes to get her hair done in the tub. She hates getting her hair done any other time. Story would rather sit and watch a movie or like now fall asleep and get her hair done. 
and eat something else, but she hates getting her hair done in the tub. So right now I'm kind of just doing the same method I did with a small tooth comb, which is just working the dirt out, moving the hair, trying to separate it as easy as possible and combing it, adjusting the dirt and separating it again. One thing I forgot to mention is you can always use water, but don't use it too early because sometimes it can make the dirt harder to get out your hair. To be honest, this is like my fourth braid and she is just not waking up, so that was probably a fail, but she's pretty good. She lets me sit here and do her hair, so. So yeah, that's pretty much the process of taking out matted hair or really super, super thick hair. If you guys have any more natural hair care problems you need solved, put it in the comments. We're going to finish this later, but follow us for more tips and tricks on how to do your hair better. Thanks. Bye.